Hey everybody, it's Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a Google Map using a plugin. Now you can do this without plugins if you want to just embed a basic map. But if you use a plugin, there's, there's a couple that are really, really good. They have free versions and paid versions. The paid versions obviously have a lot more features. But those extra features are actually pretty awesome for some of the plugins. I'm going to show you one called WP Google Maps which has a free version and a paid version and I'm going to show you how to embed a Google Map quickly and easily into your website. So the first thing you want to do is go into your WordPress dashboard and then hover over plugins and then click on add new. In the search bar on the next page you want to type in Google Maps and here's a plugin right here this free one I just want to point this out that this is not the one you want to download but this one has not been updated in five years so I would not install that plugin I believe this is a free only, so it's one of those plugins where all the features come with the free version, but it's so old, I'm pretty sure it's very outdated. And the ones that are usually more up to date, they have generally free and paid versions. So the one we're gonna use is WP Google Maps on the top right here. We're gonna click on install. After it's installed, we're gonna click on activate. And what it does is it adds a menu item on the left-hand side called Maps. So we want to click on that overall menu item. And here is a list of all the maps you have. So it, it creates a sample map. Up here it has a note where it says you can create unlimited maps with the pro version and it's only 20 bucks. So uh, 20 bucks isn't that much if you're going to use the high powered features that come with this plugin and you're going to see a sample of them in just a second. We're going to click on edit. But the free version is just fine if you need a simple map that shows your location and that's all you need then a simple map is or the, the free version is all you need. So if we click on edit under my first map we can change its name to something a little more descriptive like company location for example that's, that's a good name and here are a bunch of settings for this map. So this first one here is the short code. This is what when the map is saved this is what you'd paste into your page or your post or your sidebar widget to have this map appear. And the other settings are pretty self-explanatory, width, height, zoom level, map alignment, and map type. So if you don't know what they are, I suggest you just change it, save it, and see what happens. You're not going to break anything in here, so change things and see what happens. So if you click on directions, this is one of the pro version features. You can enable directions, so you can have or you can let the map show people directions based on where they are so that if they have location services turned on on their mobile phone or on their newer laptop they can actually have directions right on the screen of how to get to your place store locator you may have multiple stores and then you can use this store locator to enable customers to find the store nearest them there's advanced settings bicycle layer traffic layer transport layer or it's a feature in, in Google Maps itself where it shows you traffic, it shows you bicycle routes, it shows you public transport routes and often the times that they stop in uh, at those uh, tra public transport stops. And these are only really useful in big cities where the stuff is very laid out. In smaller cities this data usually isn't available. And the marker listing option also available in the pro version but here it shows examples of what you can do so you can have, uh, you can show a basic list of your markers. So for each location, for example, or for each uh, point on the map you want to highlight, you can have a different marker. And you can have the markers show up in the, the carousel here in the actual information pop-up that you can customize the information that's in that pop-up with the pro version. So the, the pro version has a lot of features. But like I said, if you want to just do a simple map, the free version is more than enough. So what we want to do is enter an address. Let's actually make this map now. So if we scroll down a little bit, there's a section or a box down here with markers, the markers tab open. I'm going to copy in a location where I used to live or near where I used to live when I was very, very young. And that is in Antibes in the south of France. So all you really have to do is add in that address, click on add marker, and it added the marker right here. And that's a little useless because you're so zoomed out. So we want to adjust the zoom level using this bar up here. And we want to zoom in to a point where it's actually a useful map. 
Well, not actually a correction. It's not useless to have that marker so far zoomed out if you want to show your worldwide locations. And that's a very useful map to have when it's so zoomed out. But for this example, where I want to show a street address and a location of, of something on a map, this is much better. And I want to use the satellite map, actually no, the hybrid, which has the satellite, satellite imagery plus the roads. So we can use this, change it to hybrid, click on save map, and now it loads the road names and everything overlaid on top of the satellite images. And I'm pretty happy with this map right here. And it's saved already. So all I will have to do is copy this shortcode into a page or a post to get that map into that page or post or a, a widget, a sidebar widget. So let's add it to a page. We're going to create a new page by hovering over pages on the left and then clicking on Add New. We're going to call this France Map. And I'm going to paste in that shortcode click on publish and if everything went well that map will now be shown on this page when we view it so we're going to click on view page and there's the map pretty easy right and so if you're going to use just the free version of this plugin uh, it's also very easy or just as easy to use no plugin at all and just embed directly from Google Maps and I have another tutorial I'll link to below this video where you can do that but if you want to take advantage of the advanced features of the paid plugins, they are very, very powerful. And they do a lot of things that are not easy to do by manually embedding a Google Map. So I encourage you to try out the different Google Maps plugins. Check out their advanced features if you're looking for more advanced stuff with the premium versions. And just find the Map plugin that's right for you. And I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped, subscribe to our channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.